Okay, Coach, uh, 3-1 win over the Citadel uh, on Tuesday. I know you weren't completely happy uh, with the way the team played. Uh, with your veteran team, um, do you expect uh, a much better effort tomorrow night? Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's it's not that, uh, I mean, you always, you're always happy to get wins. Um, I just thought we were a little inconsistent uh, with our the details of the game. I thought we gave away a lot of points. Citadel definitely earned a ton of points and played great. I just thought we we didn't focus on, on details and that's kind of what we've been talking about the entire season is, is focusing on your details of the game and making sure you're taking care of your responsibility. Uh, and I think we, we gave up a lot of points that way. So I think we'll get back to, to doing that. We've, we've talked a little bit more about it and uh, I think everyone understands what we need to do. So we, we are a pretty veteran team. So I think we'll get back to getting focused and a little more detail oriented. And one of your upperclassmen that's uh, really stepped up and having a good season, Elise Chubb, she was the tournament MVP last uh, weekend, is hitting 356 with 130 kills and also leaving their team uh, with 60 blocks. Talk about her play. Uh, well, at least, at least that's something that I that I expect out of Elise. I mean, she's she's always been extremely athletic, extremely fast, and uh, I think her and Cole are connecting a lot better now than they did at the beginning of the year. Uh, with her having the shoulder surgery and not playing all spring, it took them a little while to get things figured out. And when that happens, people get frustrated. I know Elise was a little frustrated trying to figure out what she needed to do differently and. Uh, trying to convince them they don't need to do anything differently. They just need to keep doing the same thing. It'll work out. Just trust that it'll work out. And uh, She did a great job of doing that, and I think she's uh, she's seen the rewards of that and, and started to be a lot more successful on a consistent basis. So she's doing a great job offensively for us. And then uh, blocking-wise, I know that's something she's really stressed. I think her freshman year, she uh, had a ton of blocks for us. Her sophomore year, she kind of took a little step back blocking, and she talked about needing to press a little bit more and be stronger and uh, be a little faster side to side and read better. So uh, she's really worked hard on, on both of those parts of the game. So I'm, I'm real happy for her right now and think she's doing a great job. Uh -huh. And uh, 17 kills for her against the Citadel on Tuesday. Uh, looking ahead to Western Carolina tomorrow night, uh, what are some uh, keys for your team to focus on uh, in that game? Uh, I think it's, it's one of our first, it's our first long bus trip. Um, where we play the same day. Uh, so we'll drive up Friday. Uh, we're stopping at the Grove Park Inn, uh, which is supposed to be a really nice uh, spa restaurant um, to get some food and, uh, and then drive in another hour and a half to, to play Western. And I think what thing we'll talk about and focus on is making sure none of the long bus trips and uh, fun activities and things that we do distract us from what we need to do and really make sure we focus on being ready to perform all the little details from the very beginning. Uh, so I think it's always a difference when you, the beginning of the season, when you travel, most of the time you fly somewhere or you drive somewhere the day before, um, spend the night in a hotel before you actually play. So this is our first trip where we're playing the same day and, and that always takes a little bit of adjustment to, to make sure that you get out, you stretch and you, you're loose and not kind of cramped up in a bus for X number of hours. So I think that's kind of the big focus for this trip. Great. Well, thanks a lot. Best of luck. Thank you very much.